Hello again. This is Mr. Dandrin uh, doing the excerpt portion of the audition packet. Um, we're going to start with the theme from Romeo and Juliet, section C. So this is the really famous pretty part. It starts in high second position. So what I like to do is find your high two on the E string. This is G sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. And then you're going to take your first finger and put it where the two was. And it starts in a one-two pattern. So this is this is Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. So it's So let's break down the shifts. Uh, so at the, at the beginning, we're in high second position. We're gonna do stay in position, stay in position, over to the D string, four, three, stay in position. Now this is the first time that we shift and it's gonna be down to first position B. One, two, low one. Now when we do the shift from A sharp to F sharp, it starts on the low one. The way to practice this is practice going from A sharp to D on your first finger. So practice this. And you can check it with open D, so. Do that like a hundred times. Uh, literally, I'm not being sarcastic, and then do one, one, ah, and then you gotta find the note. So what finger do they say? Uh, three. So we're gonna play. Okay, now the goal in the shift is to take out the, the shift sound, right? So now we're gonna do, and just see uh, if you can play that in slow motion. So... practice dropping that third finger a little bit faster now but still thinking about where is the first finger going don't get concerned with the third finger yet okay uh, so when we drop it down a, fa a little bit faster it's like this gives us more of a romantic sound okay uh, going on to uh, so we just hit our a sharp F sharp stay in position F sharp, and then back up, so it's two, three, three, for that just, just practice, <clears throat> three, 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 okay, so, then, okay, and that's pretty much the Romeo and Juliet. I'm going to do a uh, kind of slow playthrough of the Moldau. Um, okay. It's a little small on my screen. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Wookie.
Okay, uh, so pretty beautiful. Anytime, as a reminder, anytime you see dash and then a number, that means you are shifting to that finger. Okay, I'm giving you gold here. This is the Concerto Grosso, Opus 3, number 11. <clears throat> this is in D minor, so it's going to be low twos. It's like D, F, A. Okay, really minor sounding. So it's one and two and three and one and two start that over because that was garbage. Three and in super slow motion. Uh, in reality, like starting at 10, it would be about this tempo. Hardest part again, and this one kind of like the the last one is going to be going from open string to third position, and trying to use that open string time to get your shift in. I like to cheat a little bit, and like you get to know this feeling right when your your the palm of your hand bumps the shoulder. That's about third position. If you were to do it with a perfect fiddler salute, it'd be about fourth position. Okay, before we bump. But if we're gonna use a slightly lazier hand just on that one shift, um, we can use our wrist to tell us, oh, we're in third position. Okay. Again, watch. Without the bow, it'd be I do that every time, bum, bum, and bump the violin, okay? There's no shame in being able to find the right note. Okay, uh, much love, y'all. Please holler, send me an email if you need any help or want to set up a Zoom lesson. Okay, bye, guys.